Up until now, all of the cuts that we have been making have been across the grain, or at 90 degrees to the grain. This can be seen with the blue and yellow lines. In this image we can see how the blue line is at 90 degrees to the yellow line. In this video we are going to make cuts at the back of the plane which are parallel to the grain or in line with the grain. This can be seen with the blue and yellow lines. At the end of this video we are going to remove the V section at the top of the airplane which will mean we're cutting at an angle to the grain. But first let's recap on the important principles when sawing. Remember, point your index finger along the handle of the saw much like that of a gun and ensure that your elbow, shoulder and hand are correctly aligned in order to achieve the swift movement and sawing action that we have been practicing to date. Ensure that you adopt the correct stance as balance is essential, not only for accuracy but also for safety. Adopt the stance of a boxer or similar. Alternate your feet until you feel comfortable and confident and steady. Try this a couple of times in advance. Place your material in device in an upright position, not too high up. Take the square and ensure that it's clamped securely. This particular marking out exercise can be difficult because there's not a lot of material to rest the square against. Ensure that the material is not too high up in the vise because this will also cause vibration when cutting. Make this hand shape and use your thumb to guide the saw when starting. Note the angle of the saw. We're just concerned with cutting the extreme tip of the material at the moment. Pull the saw back two or three times to create a little groove and as the saw begins to bite you can start to lower the saw into the material. You are now cutting with the grain or parallel to the grain. Ensure that your cut is not too deep. Check the depth of cut and if you need to remove a little more material do so. Rotate the material and carry out the same cut on the far side. The use of your thumb to steady the saw is not essential but can be very useful in maintaining the saw at 90 degrees to the bench. Now we are ready to cut the material at the top of the plane which is at an angle to the grain. To date we have always kept the saw in an upright position at 90 degrees and that's what we are going to do here as well. To do this we will set the material up using the square so that now all we have to do is use our saw in a similar fashion to what we have been doing to date. This is important, be very careful here. Starting the saw can often be very difficult. You need to create a little channel, use your thumb to guide the saw, but once you achieve this channel at the start, the saw will lock into it. You can then close in your fingers and move your hand back and just concentrate on lowering the saw down into the material, nice and slowly. Let the saw do the work, do not rush. Again, it is important not to go too deep. Watch your lines. Rotate the material and inspect the material. Use your square again to set up the line at approximately 90 degrees to the bench. Again, Note how important it may be to start the saw. Be prepared for any eventuality, as in the saw might slip, so keep your thumb pressed against the saw to keep it pushed away from your hand. 
This will also steady the saw and help to, to create the groove at the start. You can now see a little groove is created. This will allow the saw to sit nice and snug in this groove. Now all we have to do is concentrate on maintaining the saw at 90 degrees, letting the saw do the work in a swift action, and lowering the saw into the material. Again, slow down at the end, and be careful not to go too deep. And that's the V 